All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pillow Talk Hour with Father Alex. And today, we're going to be answering one of your questions that some one of you guys have sent me. And don't forget, if you guys ever want to ask me these types of questions, we're having 20% off working with me one-on-one. And we're having 50% off all of my courses using the coupon code MINDFUL. And it's only available this month, okay? All right, let's begin this. The question says, I've been in an on and off relationship for over a year. Okay. Um, okay. All right. It's Sunday. I have never felt so much love for a man before. Ooh, that's rough, man. On and off and in love. That's it. That's it. That's always a recipe for happiness, people. You know? Um, you see, at this, just this tells me you're not listening to the video. But let's con- let's continue. Let's continue with the with the questions. We both had love at first sight. The first time he ever told me he loved me, I looked at the time. I looked at the time and it was 11 11. Oh. Okay. Even had a psychic tell me he is my soulmate. Okay. How is a soulmate on and off? I'm just I'm just going to keep it honest with you. Like, how is a soulmate on and off? How do you... Um, He is a professional MMA fighter who was very strict religious Muslim from Dakistan, Russia. Jesus Christ, yeah, he is. He is definitely a... They, they, they fight bears. We also had a language barrier and have to use a translator for most of our conversations. Has he's been telling me that he wants to accept Islam and he will marry me. But here is where I am confused. So he's not Muslim yet. And he likes you enough to become Muslim to marry you. I've heard this before. Um But here's what I'm confused. In April, he called me to say he will be in my city. He had to train here for an upcoming fight. We were catching up and I told him his friends had messaged me. He was angry and told me to block him. Jesus Christ, what kind of friends are those? I was making a joke and said, but he is nice to me. You're not as nice to me. Why are you saying that? Why? How is that a joke? Listen to me. It, it, it's like a, it's like you making that joke. It's like a guy making a joke of your bot, like making a joke. Oh, look at you! You look you look so cute. You like a whale. I'm a, but it's a joke. Like you, you don't. Guys are insecure about their friends because we every guy knows. Unfortunately, well, I'm lucky with my friends. They don't do that type of stuff. But most guys believe that deep down that some of their friends could fuck their girls if they if if they tried. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I've heard stories of guys. Who's, who have friends and their friends hit up their girlfriends on DMs. It's like, first of all, why are you DMing a girl with evidence? She can easily just show her boyfriend this shit. Your best friend, you fucking idiot. All right. Um, okay, so I, told him I was making a joke, but he's nice and you're nice. Okay, this enraged him so much he blocked my number, but not on, on my social media. When he came to my city... He didn't bother to message me for the entire month he was here. Yet, he did use his fake accounts to view my Instagram or Telegram stories. Okay, all right. So, clearly, this is toxic. Because in his mind, he fucking hates what you did to him. He hates what you did. And for him to still follow you, it means that even though this is toxic, what's keeping this isn't the fact that this is, this is healthy. What's keeping it is just ego, emotion. I don't know. But clearly, both of you guys know this is toxic. Because this, this on and off thing gets worse when you get married. What do you think? You think I'll... He will slowly try to get back in my life by replying to my stories with hearts. Why aren't you apologizing? That's what I want to know. Where is your apology? What you did was wrong. I'm just being honest with you. You don't make those types of jokes. Oh, your brother messaged me. He says he wants to hit me up. Oh, sorry. That's a joke, Tyrone. <laughs> Fuck you, man. It's a goddamn joke. That ain't no goddamn joke. That's a fucking nightmare. Anyways, 
Um, he would slowly try to get, okay. I saw a reflection of a woman on his sunglasses. Uh, we got a fucking Inspector Gadget here. I was so angry, I texted him. How can you be with another woman right now? All he replied was Shara, his friend name from April. I told him it was a joke. I think his friend is hideous. But he ignored me. I was devastated. In October, he texted me again on a new number. He swore on Allah it was just his mother and he was there for business. He does with his mother. He had been trying to work things out. Recently, I found out he had been texting me on, uh, off a second number and still has his original number that he blocked me on. I found he had a total number of four numbers. When I confronted him about this, he ignored it and just sent me a video saying, hi baby, how are you, miss you. Okay, this is a red flag. A guy does, does not address problems is a problem. Anytime, like like we talked about in the video, the Robert Green video um, today, where he said that one of the most important things to look for in a long-term partner is them being able to take criticism, but also them being able to have tough conversations, such as, hey, who's the bitch? That type of shit, right? Like, if, if, if this person changes a subject and doesn't want to talk about it, or when it comes to criticism, they get offensive, they get mad, they block you, or they act like it's like a political debate where they get mad when you're trying to fix a problem. That's a red flag, my love. That's a red flag. Like, I think that's the ultimate red flag. When somebody doesn't take criticism and somebody doesn't, like, like take, like, they don't want to have tough conversations, that, that's a red flag. That's procrastinating important issues in a relationship. Like, that, that's not good at all. Hi, baby. How are you? I miss you. Bitch, miss what? Anyways, like nothing happened. He always does this when I confront them about anything. What's your question? Um, there was no question. Uh, girl, you better leave. This guy is is not assalamu alaikum. This guy does not. He he does he would not be a good, a good Muslim in my opinion. Um, simply because he has the biggest red flag in any book, and that's unable to take criticism and unable to have tough conversations without. Like just changing the topic or getting mad or acting like nothing happened. Honestly, that's what I hate the most. I hate when you piss me off and you act like nothing happened. Or worse, you act like what I'm mad about shouldn't be a, a reason for me to be mad. This guy's a walking red flag. And the fact that you stayed in this relationship. You know, everyone knows Father Alex is a straight shooter. That's also a red flag on your part. Flag on the play. Technical foul on my client. Technical foul. Two free throws for Harden. It, it, it's no you gotta leave this is not gonna be fixed Allah him converting to Muslims is not gonna fix this you got to leave stop poking her at the Lexus oh my fault my fault you gotta leave and find somebody else this is not a real a, 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 the type of man you wanna be with simply because he's lying about these types of things man um and then he has four numbers like what is he what, what is he? What's this? Four numbers? And then it was his mom? Couldn't even say it was his cousin. His mom? Look, girl. Um, find somebody else. This is not the guy for you. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. He's not your soulmate. And by the way, this is the problem with, that I have with psychics. I don't, I'm not saying that psychics are not real. Do what you want to do. But if a guy, t if a psychic tells you he's your soulmate and then he's doing this, you, you better get your money back from that psychic. Cause that's some bullshit. This is not soulmate type of stuff, man. I should just be a psychic, honestly. I should just be a psychic. If this is, if, if I should just be a psychic, people. Man, I'm in the wrong profession, man. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to work with me one on one and ask me these types of questions, look, we have it on Patreon for twenty five dollars a month. You can ask two questions per per month, and for ten dollars a month, you can ask one question per month, and I'll make a video about it. 
Um, and you guys also get the Robert Green book club videos and reaction videos. Today we're doing a bunch of reaction videos, and I should be posting one today. I'm thinking of doing 90 Day Fiance reaction. So yeah, stay tuned. Take care.